how branding gets you higher paying clients. I feel like pee pee poo poo, so I didn't even do my hair, but I still gotta do a video today. I think everybody wants higher paying clients, right? Whether you've done branding exercises on your business or not, your business has a brand. It has a perception of what it is in people's minds. And the brand that people have in their minds is like a magnet, and that magnet is gonna pull people towards your business. So have you set up your magnet to pull people with low income or people with high income? Have you set up your magnet to pull in people who are willing to invest in their business? Or are you pulling people that have no money to invest in their business? Our goal should be, how do we get those bigger fish? How can we do the same amount of work for less money for higher paying customers? So what is branding? Branding is the perception of your business in people's minds when you're not in the room anymore. The impact of strong branding can definitely set your business off and make you a ton more money. But some companies aren't thinking about their brand at all. Here's a really quick example. It's getting cold here in Oregon and I needed some firewood. I probably called six or seven people who either wouldn't give me a price, they wouldn't settle on a time to come deliver the wood, they wouldn't dump the wood, they wouldn't stack the wood, they didn't have seasoned wood. It just, nobody that I spoke to seemed to care at all. Until I found this one guy. I called this one guy. He answered every single one of my questions. He showed up on time. He took Venmo. He gave me his card to make it easier for me to order for him next time. He was really nice. He was really courteous. He made sure that where he dumped the wood was nice and clear. He didn't hit any trees. He didn't mess up my driveway. And you know, the funny thing was, is he was like 19 years old. It's not like he was more experienced than the other people, but apparently he had read a book and that book was how to treat your customers. Now let's take it a step further. Let's say he wanted to only get people that would pay three times as much for the same wood that I would pay. Now why would someone pay three times as much for the wood? It's simple. They have more money than time and they want a for sure thing. They want to call a number, get what they want and not have to worry about it. Like literally not have to mentally strain about buying wood. So I told this guy what he could do is he could demonstrate with video how he shows up to the house in a nice clean outfit, looks professional, his truck looks professional, his trailer looks professional. You're not going to be leaving tire marks on the driveway. You're not going to be messing up gravel driveways on your way in and out. When you dump the wood, you're going to stack it nicely and make sure it's nice and clean. You're going to sweep the area when you're done so there's no debris. So when the person comes outside to pay you, all they see is what they ordered, a beautiful stack of wood ready to go. No other little jobs need to be done. When you leave, they don't have to clean up. When you leave, they don't have to worry about it falling over, whatever. It sounds stupid, but it works. Now, if you're trying to bump up your customer's average ticket value or the average amount of money they spend with you, you're going to need to be really consistent with your brand across all avenues. It's not just in the work that you perform, but how you put yourself out there in front of the world, even all the way down to how you bill them. And if you can craft an emotional connection into all of this, you're going to have clients for life. Maybe you connect with your customers on what it's like to be a dad. Maybe you connect with your customers on something like being in the military. Everybody has their own little thing that they can use in their brand. That's going to pull the correct customers out of the crowd that you actually want to deal with. Because at the end of the day, when you get up to work, you want to deal with people that you want to deal with. You don't want to deal with random a-holes. Please like this video. Another great way to enhance your brand online is to use social proof. Make sure you get your customers leaving reviews on your stuff. Make sure you're capturing enough data about your customers to build good case studies. People want to see how you work with others. People want to see visually what it's like to work with you before they do. That's why 99% of people hire someone they know rather than someone that they feel is like a crazy expert at something. They'd rather work with someone they know. Why? Because we're human. Because we have that connection. Because we have that little bit more of trust for this person that we feel like we know. And the more you put out there about yourself in a genuine way about your business, the more people will feel like they know you, the more people will feel like they trust you. And once you get them in the door, you can cement all of those things with how you treat them as a customer and throughout the entire customer journey. Okay. Just a practical tip from some business owners, you always want to keep a constant audit on your brand. You always want to have maybe somebody that you trust go through the process of being a customer at your company and call out honestly any feedback that they have. 
There's always little grading spots about every single company that we don't want to deal with. There's always little tiny things that stop us from calling on the phone or going in a car or whatever. Identify what those are, eliminate them for your customers so you can make more money. So I encourage you to take your first step in trying to improve your brand. Ask your customers what it's like to work with you. Just remember, it's so difficult to get someone to do something for you. So if they're willing to actually give you real feedback, that's gold. Don't get mad about it. Don't get upset about it. Don't get emotionally unregulated about it. Take the feedback, write it down. If it pisses you off, walk away from it for a minute. I don't know. But you got to focus on why is this person saying this? Be honest with yourself. Remove the ego. Remember you're trying to make money for your business so you can support your family and figure out what's going on. If you need help with all this branding stuff, shoot me a DM. So what kind of customers are you getting now? And what kind of customers would you like to get in the future? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. If you didn't catch my last video, go ahead and watch it. It's a simple video about what is branding. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe.